be able to switch uh, angles with my foot. Hi everyone, David Allman here and today, uh, well today we're kind of discovering together this new, new Vola guitar. This is the, the Luna model. If you've been following the channel for a while you know that I'm a big fan of Vola guitars. I've been using this Vola Oz or Ozzy, some people call it Ozzy, I call it Oz, for a long time, for a couple years now. It's been my main guitar. The thing with the Vola Oz, it, it kind of, to me, it feels like a, it kind of feels like a Super Strat, but with a touch of Telecaster in there. And I love it, but the neck, it's a little thicker than what um, I was used to. I'm, I'm coming from the Ibanez world. I played Ibanez RG guitars for 20 years or so. And then this has been my main guitar, which is kind of a shock to some people because of the neck, a little wider. I love this thing. But Vola recently came out with this, which has a very thin neck. So it's not quite like the, the wizard necks from the Ibanez, but it's still quite a thin neck. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you about my very, very, very first impression. And I'm talking like first, you know, 15 minutes of playing with this. I didn't like it. You're fired. Because of the Godo, um, the, the Floyd, type vibrato. Here's what I'm talking about. And this might not be an issue for everyone, but for me, I thought it was an issue. Not anymore. Watch this video till the end. Don't, don't skip it. Oh, David doesn't like it. No, I like it. But at first I didn't like it because, because I was just not used to it. See how this um, vibrato sticks out of the fretboard. You can't really see because of the angle maybe, but this kind of sticks out, which, you know, it's pretty common with some of these types of uh, vibrato, especially the, the Godo, and that's how they are designed. But my Ibanez, which I don't have here, it's being set up. It's, um, it's a low pro edge and it, it, it's basically flat against the body, which having played that Ibanez guitar for so long, well, I, maybe it changed my technique a little bit. When I'm playing, you can see it more with the, the Oz guitar, my wrist, it's kind of like in that direction right here. And so it sits here and it's on the, on the bridge, right? I've got my, basically my wrist anchored on the bridge. That's the, my positioning. That's how I play. With the Luna guitar, well, that's kind of a problem because if I'm sitting here while well, being a floating, well, <laughs> some intonation problems and also it really hurts my wrist and so that's why I was talking to Greg from Vola and I was like, after playing them at NAMM I said don't don't send me one of these because uh, the wrist thing well I'm glad he did because all it took was just you know doing this <laughs> which I thought was gonna be a big problem playing like this but no it just takes maybe an hour of playing and I'm used to it. And now I really love this thing. So what makes this uh, different from the other Volas around? Well, the neck, the neck profile is really thin. Vola, I think I read that somewhere that they based their necks on the Richie Kotzen uh, Telecaster model, which is a baseball bat. This is not the same type of thing. It's pretty thin and it sounds um, really different from my Oz. Now, the Oz guitar, I haven't changed the strings for so long, but, but it sounds different still. I think it's mahogany wood. To me, it sounds um, brighter 
and more mids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the same exact patch. I'm gonna play something. With the Luna. And then I'll switch to the Oz. Now let's check out the vibrato. It's pretty exceptional. Check this out. As far as the tuning. This thing really does stay in tune. Now, as you know, I'm not really a specs guy. Woods, length, all, all those things. I, I don't know. I should, having a guitar channel, but I don't. However, I will leave all the info below. All I can tell you is that I was afraid first of this vibrato thing, but I'm starting to really love this Luna guitar. So Vola did it again. The neck profiling feels more like an Ibanez than the traditional Volas that you might be used to. Definitely more so than my Oz guitar here. Both are great tools. Maybe this is more of a, I guess, a, more of a rock slash hard rock metal type of thing. And you can kind of see it with the, the pointy edge, which, well, this one does too, but this one looks more of a vintage uh, type of instrument. But this thing is awesome. Check it out. Vola guitars, thank you. I'll see you very soon on the channel. I have actually a few more guitars I want to talk to you about. So that, that'll come up. But of course, this lesson is really about lessons and developing your personality on the instrument. So that's not going away. I'll just talk more about some of the, the cool guitars that I have had acquired uh, recently. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Practice well.